just play a precise shot here and just land on the black. Or he's trying to hold it for the blue. What? Almost missed that somehow. In the group, but he'll want to play a bit better than he did first out this afternoon. When we saw the overhead shot of that cue ball, it did seem to drift out a little, didn't it, towards the red? So maybe that wasn't pilot error. Yeah, those two previous matches between these two, Gilbert won 4-0 in the first round of the 2013 Indian Open, making a century break. Then he won 6-4 in the last 64 of the 2014 International Championship. He was 2-0 down, came back well. But this is their first meeting for eight years. Thirteen. Black, if you can. Nineteen. Just give us a minute, please. Room to get that pink in there. Twenty-six. And of course, Gilbert's hoping to split those reds sooner rather than later and ruin Rob's handiwork. into the pack so a couple of precise shots needed now Dave traveled far enough it's going to be pretty tight Thirty eight. Thirty-nine. Earlier today, forty-seven. Mind you, he's a perfectionist. He won't be entirely pleased with that, even though he does have a couple of colour options. Tough red now to keep this going. Yeah, so a couple of... Very good with fifth. A couple of... Loop art. Got the double kiss. Pushed the red into the pack, but oh, that was a one. Dave Gilbert is so skilled, such a heavy scorer. I think one criticism of him over the years from me would be when he does drop out of position eight he does have a tougher pot on immediately afterwards what often he misses that because he's so upset about right. his positional mistake he doesn't seem to shake it off as quick as some players do yeah i'd agree with that i think that comes down to a state of mind and your temperament how you deal with things that go wrong out there and that is sometimes the just a very tiny difference between great players like Dave and the, the absolute top-notch players like Selby and Neil Robertson, people like that. You know, there's there's not a lot between them in terms of playing That's ability. It. It's just that little difference between the ears, which probably just gives them that edge. Thirty-one. 
but Gilbert is 68 ahead with 59 on. Gilbert 18 on the first frame. Zach Surety doesn't even bother to come back for snookers. He He's from what? Essex. Well, that's more like it from Zach. And how's your luck? Zach Shorty, six. Hawkins. Yeah, I think you've got every right to feel a little bit aggrieved going out with seven points because basically you've won two out of the three matches. So this is not easy. Yeah, he did well there. Zach Shorty, 12. It's a very lonely place out there when you are a highly skilled snooker player and... This, Joe, is the Dave Guild wheelhouse. This is where he's extremely good. Heavy scorer. Always has been. No. Yeah, he's a great cueist. Secret to heavy scoring. He's having that cue ball under control. Definitely the strongest part of Dave's game, without a doubt. You wouldn't expect him to slip up 40. here, but like we've said, not at his best today, but he hasn't had to be. Been given lots of help so far by his two opponents. It's always nice. It's always nice to be handed a few chances and be let off a few mistakes. 50. No, I think his mind is crystallised. He knows if he can get a couple of wins here. He will be through to the last 32 next week. He will go into a group with Rob Milkins and Zhao Gudong. Twenty. The time that would have been on. Everyone talking about it. Yes. Two or three centuries in a best of nine. Just commonplace now. Everyone just. So more adept in the break building department, probably from what they've watched on the TV and all the different practice routines players do now. And everyone seems to be able to score these days. 36. Thirty-seven. So what do you well, obviously. Slightly biased, but I've got to say I'm a fan, Phil. I did ask Dave, I said, is this uh, look to stay? 45. He said, no, it's just too hot for hair. Well, fair enough. Too cool for school, too hot for 52. hair. There's a s slogan in there somewhere. 53. Well, as expected. He's made easy work of this table. It did look very welcoming, didn't it? It wasn't a safe ball on the table. All the big colours were in play. Not really under any pressure, which also helps. It looks 60. like he's going to cruise to this second frame. And maybe 61. set a target for the high break, if it's going to come down to that. Sixty-nine. Well, that red was frame ball, so just to 
matter now whether Dave can go on and clear the table. Seventy eight. There we go with seventy eight on the fray. Often you hear defending champions say capable of, but well, it's turned into a bit of a nightmare today for Zach. And straight away, he's hand Gilbert another golden opportunity. And this is like a practice situation for Dave Gilbert. Yeah, and just to give you some idea of what Zach Surety can do, he came through Q Eight. School a couple of months ago, beat Ben Mertens in the final round in event two. Nine. And we saw what Mertens can do yesterday. Fine prospect. In that tournament, he also beat Kawei Chung from Hong Kong. And he was the, the gentleman who won the gold medal in the snooker at the World Games Sixth. last week. Seventy. But if you're not used to playing on the main table, if it's not second nature, then you start making a few mistakes. Players can come apart at the seams. Much like this break. 24. Yeah, there we go with 24. It was early on. It was only 24, but I think at home, what he's capable of. Cheers. Thank you. 16. He has been to the last 32 of world ranking events. 2015 China Open in Beijing, European Masters in Romania in 2016. Actually, in that China Open, 20. could have made it to the last 16. He led Rob Milkins 4 1, lost 5 4. 22. That was when you've just come off the back of a defeat, prepare for the next tournament, so hopefully. Well, Today is long out of his system. Six. Seven. Important for Gilbert no. to keep his foot on the pedal. Cheers, Dave. Thank you. Ten. And also a 3 0 win for Gilbert would eliminate Florian Nursler from 50. Topping the table. He could get to six points, yes. Even if he beat Surety next time out, 3 0. Nursler's frame difference wouldn't be as good as Gilbert's. Sixteen. It goes in. He kept himself a little bit fortunate because he missed the red. Oh, he will need. Oh, he's missed that red. There we go with twenty. You see, on another day, on another group, I don't think Gilbert's form. What? So what Joe just said is code for why didn't people play like this against me? That's essentially what you're saying, isn't it, Joe? I think that's what every snooker player thinks when they watch snooker, Phil. That's why a lot of players don't watch snooker for that very reason. You know, it always seems like everyone plays well against you when you're out there, but obviously that's not the case. And when you're in the commentary box, you you see things very, very differently. You see them very, from a very neutral point of view Eight. instead of a personal one. But yeah, I'm, I'm also on the flip side of that, you know, Dave Gilbert, I'm pretty sure had his opponents stepped up today Dave would have upped these games according. And what a good pot that was, by the way. Seventeen. 
Nein. Yeah, the way it's worked out, he's actually done a lot of hard work. Well, it's just, I don't think, I don't know where you've got to put the balls today, Phil, for Zach to feel comfortable out there. And again, you see, Dave Gilbert must think it's his birthday today. Every time he comes to the table, he's got a red over the hole. What? Surety can't quite comprehend how badly he's played. Of course, Gilbert is not concerned in the slightest. It's doggy dog. David Gilbert, six, frame, and the match.